What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm playing a Snorlax team created by Aquamoth. Thank you Aquamoth for making this team. Uh, this is also going to be the first time I've ever used a Lunala, which is pretty cool. Uh, Lunala is a little bit, it's got the same typing as Calyrex Shadow, but it's not very much like it. It's got good special attack and good bulk, not as much speed. Uh, and Shadow Shield works kind of like multi-scale. If you're at max HP, you're going to take half damage from any incoming move. So it can it can get a free Call Mine, basically, if it wants, because the first hit's not going to do much. The Snorlax on this team is pretty interesting. It's got Thick Fat, so it can take Ice moves like Glacial Lance and some Fire moves too really well, uh, and an Assault Vest, just making it impervious to any special attacker. Just you're, you're not going to get KO this with special attacks. You're going to need a physical attacker. And then just great coverage. Facade in case you get burned, high horsepower, good coverage, crunch can take on those ghosts, heavy slam you know can delete a flutter main. And then the rest of this team we've got Pelipper for wide guard and tailwind, King Gambit with goggles for some potential sweeping, a choice band Rillaboom, which I think it could have been a fake out Rillaboom, I mean we have Call My Lunala, we have Urshifu. Uh, but it works as Choice Band. Choice Band's a cool item on Rillaboom that's picking up a lot these days. And then just a mostly normal Urshifu, but it's Terra Grass, which helps it avoid Rage Powder. And it has Ice Spinner instead of Aqua Jet, so you can hit stuff like Dragonite, for example, or Amoongus's. Anyways, I'm super excited to try out this Snorlax team. Make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let's get into it. Alright, here we are versus... Incineroar, Rillaboom, Urshifu, Calyrex, Ice, Pelipper, Raging Bolt. Pretty boring. Alright. Uh, no judgment. Uh, Nebby's immune to Fake Out, which is great. Um, I also have Ghost Terror on Snorlax if I need it. Snorlax is pretty good with Thick Fat, uh, but it's not going to do much damage once it starts getting intimidated. Though once it gets burned, maybe. Uh, Solomon also good, except into their Urshifu, so they're gonna need an Urshifu, so we need to have Rillaboom of our own. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Right? Pelipper with Wide Guard is also good. But. I like Nebby plus King Gambit out front. Snorlax in the back so it doesn't get intimidated. King Gambit in front so it does. And then it's either Pelipper or Rillaboom. I guess both of them can handle an Urshifu. But one of them is also very scared of Raging Bolt. So I want to go with Rillaboom. Yeah. Uh, they might bring their own Rillaboom to set the grass. So maybe I didn't have to. But like I also really want the grass. Grass plus leftovers on Lunala can be really uh, useful. And they've got a good trainer card, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Calyrex Rillaboom, right away. Alright, right away. Cool. You can fake out one of my guys, but not both. I can just double into your horse if I want. Uh, sure, you're gonna be Terra like. Fire, maybe? Uh, I guess you could fake out King Gambit here, so I could swap King Gambit if I wanted, but I don't really want to. So I think I'll just throw a Moongeist Beam, as obvious as that is, and... I want to try to Sword Stance. I think I'm going to get faked out anyway. But I think a Swords Dance is just as good as just attacking here. Terra what? Fire? Water. Ah, yeah, that's fine. I have Rillaboom. Did I bring Rillaboom? I hope I brought Rillaboom. I think I brought Rillaboom. So that's fine. Ooh, straight for a Grassy Glide. Aggressive. We're gonna Moon Guys Beam. Calyrex is gonna take a little bit of chip. And we get our Swords Dance off. Are they just attacking or are they going to set Trick Room anyway? Oh, they're just attacking right away. Lunala can eat though. Lunala's a beast. 
Oh, it was a crit on Lunala, and Lunala's... It was a double crit! This Calyrex just double crit us. That's not cool. You're not supposed to do stuff like that. Come on, man. Uh, the protect for my Lunala might be too obvious, but whatever. Protect. Kowtow Cleave. I want the health back. Like, even if you see this coming, I still want the health back. Because Grassy Glide would be pretty free. Calyrex just protects. Is this gonna be a U-turn? That's no, just a Grassy Glide, okay. So we both just wasted this turn, so all that happens is we get some health back. Cool. I can get Lunala out now. Into Snorlax is probably pretty safe. Like, sure, we'll take a Grassy Glide, but whatever. We got Thick Bat for the, uh, the follow-up Ice move, if that comes out. And then Kowtow Cleave your Calyrex? Yeah. I want some damage on it. I don't know if that KOs. Probably not. We don't have a Terra boost. We don't have an item boost. We're just plus two cleaving. But Snorlax is on the field. Eat it. Oh yeah, that wasn't too bad. Eat this. Good damage. And then just a high horsepower into our King Gambit, which we also eat. Nice. Alright, um, are they locked into Grassy Glide with that Rillaboom? I wonder. I kinda want to Sucker Punch the Rillaboom. No, because Grassy Glide would go first. I kind of want to... I don't know. Tough situation. Oh, uh, I could protect King Gambit. In fact, I think I will. I just throw a facade at Calyrex. Yeah. That's probably fine. And if I just bait out the protect from their Calyrex, that's also fine. I want to see what this Rillaboom can do. Yeah, they're just protecting there. I could have hit Rillaboom, but it's not going to do much. And they are just gliding. Okay. There's no way that takes me out. So I've got a free cleave there. Nice. Should be able to take out your Calyrex, or at least force you to swap it here. And then who do I want in on that slide? I guess saving Rillaboom for later is good. Lunala can't really come in safely. Who could they swap? If they swap Bolt or Ensign, they wouldn't want to do that. Urshifu is like the only thing that could really come in, so I guess I'll throw a facade there as well. But Kowtow Cleave will go first. So it should be fine. We go for Glide, no way does that KO from there. And we just take their horse, beautiful. I'll take your horse. I'm gonna take your horse. Okay. And then finally some damage on this Rillaboom. Oh, no, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. For an unpowered facade. And we took roughly 30 damage from Grassy Glide. Oh, it's gonna be way less now. Plus we can Sucker Punch you now. And there's Urshifu. Water Shifu. Oh yeah, I'll bring in my Rillaboom. On... Um, I guess the King Gambit slot. I don't have to give up King Gambit just yet, for no reason. When Rillaboom coming in is so free. I could also Terra Ghost this if I wanted. Just in case they close combat to the last. Would they though? I mean, does my Terra on Rillaboom help me? Might against like Ensign. I think it's fine. I think I want to Terra Ghost. I want a facade Urshifu slot. I want to go under Rillaboom. 
Oh, I guess I'm choice, but I didn't need to chip down the Urshifu. Uh, but it could be Sash. I don't think it's Sash. I feel like this would be a Scarf set. But just in case there's Sash, that's why I'm throwing the facade over at Urshifu. Maybe I'm not respecting their Lillaboom enough. It's just not doing much damage. Alright. Snorlax has joined the Land of the Dead. And it's just Surging Strikes into that slot. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but then what's going on with their Rillaboom? Did they not Grassy Glide? Huh. Alright, so you turned. Why were they gliding this whole time? They could have just Wood Hammered or something. Alright, uh, they've got a Rillaboom switch in now. They've got a Raging Bolt. Okay. Rillaboom could come in for Urshifu. Oh, they have Booster Energy Bolt. Okay. Sod does something to Urshifu. I don't think Lunala is worth much anymore. They've got so much priority left. <laughs> Oh, King Gambit Sucker Punch might not be worth much either. Uh, if we glide Urshifu... That could be a problem. I think I have to read Urshifu swapping here. They already used Terra. I could double high horse the bolt. I'm more scared of the Urshifu or Rillaboom, honestly. So I think maybe I just double that slot anyway. Yeah, they do swap, but like they have to take this double up, which they probably will. This ain't this ain't free though. You are gonna get hit for it. That's decent damage. Ooh, and they're throwing a whole Draco Meteor. Okay, bye Rilla. Yeah, they really hated Rillaboom there. Hmm. Alright, their Rillaboom is still alive, but they can't fake out my Snorlax. Uh, I could give them a glide target with Lunala. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Lunala, because Lunala could protect here to get some health back. And they have to respect that. If I facade to take out Rillaboom, they could swap Bolt. Get two Mons on the field. I'm gonna throw high horsepower at Bolt. And I am going to protect. I do think it might get me out of Grassy Glide range. Oh, and they leave both of their Mons in. Yeah, there's Grassy Glide. Bonk. There's Thunderbolt and the Snorlax. That's not going to do anything. Oh, unless it crits! Oh no! Snorlax, no! Alright, half damage to Bolt in return, but oh my goodness, no! Poor Snorlax. Why did that have to happen to you? And then Bolt might not be in range now. Uh, two turns of grass, so I could swap Lunala then protect. I think that may be, might be what I need to do. And I'll throw another high horsepower Raging Bolt. Because if they want to like Thunderclap Grassy Glide double up even, that won't take out King Gambit. Thunderclap won't touch him when I swap in. Grassy Glide shouldn't KO from there, nope. And it was a Thunderclap double up, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Another high horsepower, does it! Yes! Good job, Snorlax. You did it. Now the question is, can I win? Yeah, 
if they want to take out King Gambit, they cannot Grassy Glide. Um, Urshifu's gonna lock Surging Strikes. I'm thinking if I Sucker Punch toward Rillaboom, and they double Snorlax, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna throw two normal priority attack. Yeah, they did Grassy Glide. King Gambit lives on one. No way did you double that slot. Eat it, Snorlax. Eat it, Snorlax. 102. 60. Oh, we're taking it. Yeah, Snorlax. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Rillaboom is down. Snorlax, you're doing it. Oh my goodness! And then we get this facade in. Bop. Good damage. Now with only single target attacks, they don't have the way to take us down because we're going to hit them with one of these guys, and then we're going to hit them with Lunala, or one of these guys. So facade. And Sucker Punch, coming your way. Boom. That's facade range if you go after King Gambit. Which you do. Let Snorlax win the game, yes! Oh yeah, come on. You got this. You got this, Snorlax. You got this. Goodbye, Urshifu. Get out of here. Ooh, yeah. Snorlax taking down a meta team. Let's go. Let's go. That was a tough match, too. Oh, man. GG. Alright, okay. Kali Shadow, Raging Bolt, Whimsicott, Chiyu, Dragonite, Chen Pao. Alright, Kali Shadow does not want to fight a Snorlax. Chiyu does not want to fight a Snorlax. Raging Bolt, maybe. Uh, Chen Pao, Dragonite definitely want to fight a Snorlax. So, what do I have for Chen Pao, Dragonite? Um, oh, I also have Wide Guard, Pelipper, which is nice. Okay. I fear they will lead something that forces Nebby's Terra. Though Terra Fairy ain't bad. If I'm being honest. Uh, Pelipper could definitely slow down the Chiyu. And actually threaten... Yeah. Yeah, Nebby Pelipper seems good with Gordito in the back. We have Tailwind too to either match or catch them if they try to think they don't need Tailwind. And then finally, Shifu? Shifu ain't bad, especially if we match Tailwind. We can be faster than everything they have. King Gambit is also okay. It can take an extreme speed. But, I mean, also being a dark type is nice. I don't know, it could go either way. Boomy's not bad either for priority. I'm gonna go Shifu. Any of the last three could have been right. But since we're putting up Rain with Pelipper anyway, Urshifu can do a lot of damage if it gets in the right spot. So I think it might be the way to go. Uh, and we have Ice Spinner for Dragonite if they don't Terra it. Oh, no trainer card. Boo! Boo! Boo. Cool eyes, though. Calyrex GU. Love it. So glad I brought Pelipper. I think I'll just protect Tailwind? Would they throw a bunch of single target moves at Pelipper here? Can't imagine they would, right? And we've got to be faster than... Oh yeah, we should be faster than a Scarf Pelipper, a Scarf Chiyu after Tailwind goes up. I'm a little scared. But Protect Tailwind, I think, is the play. They could double Pelipper. In which case, I could Terra Calm Mind and try to set Tailwind. 
Yeah, I, I don't want to commit the Protect Tailwind. Something could go wrong. They're going to Terrastalize probably their horse, yeah. Scared of Moonguy's theme. They're Terra Water. So Rillaboom was the right call, dang. <laughs> Alright. That's okay. I'm also going to Terrastalize so I don't get blown up by a Ghost or Dark Moon, which I'm sure you have a lot of. Chi Yu sometimes carries two Dark Moves. Calyrex sometimes carries two ghost moves, but I don't think Terra Water would. I think that's a bulky set. Yeah, Dark Pulse right into Lunala could have protected that. And Water Terra Blast into Lunala. Okay, Protect Tailwind was a great play though. Yikes! Oh, that's really bad. Oh, that that's really, 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 really bad. Yikes. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, Urshifu, come on in, I guess. Let's scare the Chiyu away. Into. Uh, they can just go to Raging Bolt. I can close combat the Chiyu. We know Chiyu's Scarf. So they're gonna swap it. Don't know into what. But yeah, I could close combat Calyrex and Hurricane it. That might take it down. They're just gonna leave Chiyu in. They don't care. Let's see, is Pelipper faster than Scarf Chiyu? Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Well, someone's gonna take a Dark Pulse. So at least we took down their Calyrex. Oh, we are behind. So at least we have Tailwind. Ah, they're gonna just bring out Raging Bolt though and cause us so much problems. So they can Thunderclap either slot. Oh, uh, Dragonite. Oh yeah, they can... They can do that, I guess. That's not so bad. I guess I close combat the Chi Yu slot here, because that's mostly free. And then you're gonna, I guess, extreme speed my Pelipper. But, whatever. I'll hurricane your Dragonite back. Yeah, Chi Yu swapping into Chen Pao. Yeah, I still don't think we win. I, th I think that turn one was so good for them that we don't have the juice to make it up. Uh, they didn't go for extreme speed, so they're gonna get hit by a hurricane. We could use duckies. Duckies could save us here. Oh, uh, they must be aerial acing Urshifu or Thunder Punch or something, whatever they have. Save us, duckies. No duckies and aerial ace. Uh, there's no way we win this. Norlax doesn't have the juice. Norlax is good against the Chiyu they have in the back at least, but. These two out front are going to be problems. And we lost Terra turn one. Man, if I, if I was just Protect Tailwind, I could have been in a good position. Did not expect Water Terra Blast. That's crazy. Using my own rain against me. Chen Pao could just Sucker Punch Pelipper. So I could like facade Chen Pao and waste a move with like wide guard. Gotta play to some sort of out, <laughs> you know? Show me Sucker Punch? No, it's just extreme speed because they are not choiced. Great. Uh, show me an ice move. No, nope, it's Sacred Sword. Yep, no way of winning this. Well, hang on. Is there a way to win this? No. No, Chi Yu's Dark Pulse plus Dragonite is gonna be able to do more than enough. And I don't have Ice Punch to beat the Dragonite. No, this is over. I'm sorry, Snorlax. It's not your fault. It was that amazing turn one they had. That's something I don't love about uh, Regulation G. Turn one can like change the game. Just one turn, stuff gets blown up, and then 
as long as no one makes a mistake, there's nothing that can be done, you know? My, my only way of winning after turn one was them messing up. Not a, it wasn't on me. Ah, but the first play I thought was protect Tailwind, that would have been great. Anyways, GG. Okay, Zacian, Urshifu, Pelipper, Landorus Incarnate, Chen Pao, and Dragonite. How do I want to fight this? I don't want to Terra my Nevi. Because then Zacian will eat it alive. Shifu seems good. Especially in like rain. Gordito is just okay. Not amazing. But saving a Terra Ghost for it late game could mess up the Dragonite, could mess up uh, Urshifu. Could maybe catch a Sacred Sword from the Zacian once. So that seems nice. Shifu for sure. Maybe even Nebi plus Shifu. No, Pelipper, stop. Nebi plus Shifu. Gordito in the back. Pelipper really wants to come. Pelipper's saying, bring me, bring me, bring me. So fine, Pelipper, you're last. I'll bring you. Locking that in. <laughs> My controller kept going to Pelipper on accident, so... Pelipper is saying something. Pelipper knows something I don't. Pelipper is the play here. Somehow. And they don't have a trainer card, so watch out. What do they got? They got... Ten Pao Dragonite lead. Do they want to double my Urshifu? With like, Sucker Punch E-Speed? Sometimes they do something like that. Um, this is a hard turn. I'm gonna bring in Pelipper. Oh, Terra, my Terra Grass. Bring in Pelipper, Surging Strikes the Chen Pao. If they go for the Terra Normal Extreme Speed plus Sucker Punch my Urshifu, they basically win the game. But they would have to be choice banned, which means I can get them with a ghost. So maybe that's not the worst thing in the world. But that feels like if they go for that, I'm in trouble. Uh, it's just an extreme speed, not a Terra. Ah, and there goes Chen Pao, nice! Pelipper, you were right, I did need to bring you. That extreme speed also did a lot of damage. That does feel like choice man to me. So they have to be careful about a Lunala coming back in. But they can also pin this slot. Uh, I'm gonna set Tailwind. I think I'm gonna set Tailwind and force you to go get my Urshifu. Cause you can extreme speed my Urshifu here. But then you can't double Pelipper stopping Tailwind. Oh, they didn't. Oh, they're gonna let me hit. Nice. Nice, this is gonna be big damage on his ass here. Huge damage. Nice. And did either get Tailwind or I get to keep Urshifu. I get Tailwind. I prefer Tailwind, honestly. Thank you, Urshifu. You did your job. Pelipper? I think you were right. I'm glad I brought you. Alright, Lunala. Time to shine. Lunala the Great Friend is here. We're Terra Ground Pelipper. They could extreme speed that slot pretty freely. They could swap Protect. I'd rather not take any damage on Snorlax. Who would they swap to? 
Urshifu, Landorus, whatever. I'll throw a Hurricane. And I will Moon Guys Beam Zacian. Because if they stay in with Dragonite, that's so silly. Because I'm about to have two Ghosts. Yeah, they have to swap. So I get a free Hurricane on an Urshifu, I hope? Yeah! Nice! Very nice. Goodbye, Zacian. And maybe goodbye, Urshifu. Depending on how you're trained and whether you're Sash. But you have a Chen Pao on that team. There's no way you're the Sash. Get out of here. Oh, you're just... Oh, you are Sash. What was the Chen Pao holding then? Huh. Okay. I guess that's fine. It means you're not very fast. Alright, how much Tailwind do we have? Two turns of Tailwind. I want to get rid of Urshifu. I want a Hurricane, Dragonite. Moonblaster, I think that's probably fine. Battle was just cancelled before I could even bring in Snorlax? No! Ah, uh, GG. Okay, Zacian, Fluttermane, Dragonite, Urshifu, Chen Pao, Rillaboom. Okay, so Chen Pao, four physical attackers, and Fluttermane. We're back to that again. That classic formula. Physical attackers is not very good because we've got so much special defense. Uh, but we can make this work. Lots of priority, which we could balance out with our own priority from Rillaboom and King Gambit. Um, I don't think Urshifu's that great here, especially because they could just be Speed Booster Flutter. Might be just the four, like I don't... Pelipper's not bad, honestly. But we don't need Wide Guard. So I think it's the other four. I think then... I think I want to get someone set up. Solomon may have to Terra. I'm going to put Boomy in the back because he's choice. So I think I'll lead with Nebi Gordito. Yeah, I just put Snorlax Lunala in front with... King Gambit and Rillaboom in the back. I think that's how I want to play this. It's gonna be a tough matchup. We don't have Intimidate, we don't have Attack Dropping, we don't have Will-O-Wisp. They don't have a Trainer card. But it might be alright. It might be alright. If we can get like a boost on something and then start going in, that'd be great. Okay. Dragonite and Chen Pao. Cool. Moonblast is pretty good. Um, we have to worry about whether their Chen Pao has a dark move other than Sucker Punch. We could also Terra Fairy. But if they're gonna lock extreme speed, that's not great. I definitely want... I think I will Terra Fairy. And then just Moonblast Chen Pao. While also throwing a crunch at it. Because we're going to have to break its Sash. And if they're Terra Ghost for whatever weird reason, Crunch plus Moonblast should be enough. But it doesn't look like they are. Lunala is Terrastalizing first. That might mean Dragonite is slower or isn't. Oh, Chen Pao Protect. Oh boy. Don't love that. Alright, we are faster than Dragonite. That's pretty cool. And it clicks Outrage. Bye, Snorlax. <laughs> oh no! Alright, they're stuck Outraging. We get a free Moon Blast there. Oh 
no. Oh, they likely have Sacred Sword then. I'll go Rillaboom. Man! They make that's a crazy play. Alright, I, I might lose off of that play alone. Alright, we're definitely gonna moonblast that Dragonite. And then the question is swap to King Gambit to take the ice move? Or just throw the grassy glide at Chen Pao now? I think I'll just glide the POW now. Oh, uh, I hope Moonblast is enough to take... Okay, they're gonna terastalize their Chen POW. I wonder what that's for. Okay, I guess they were worried about a fake out. Well, I'm not gonna fake you out, don't worry. I don't have that. I have Grassy Glide with a choice man. That does so much damage, too. Yep, they respond with Icicle Crash, which we cannot live. That simple? Okay. Oh, they're life orb. Yeah, no, you can't live that. Got it. Alrighty. Fair is fair. Can I take you out? No, but you're locked in outraging anyway. But now you are free of outrage. And because it was a three turn outrage, they don't even get confused. Alright, so they can swap. Life Orb Chen Pao. I guess I could go for a Sucker Punch on them. They could go for a Sucker Punch back. They don't have a swap in for a Moongeist Beam that they like, right? So Moongeist Beam Sucker Punch is like the obvious play. But would Chen Pao just if Chen Pao sucker punches Lunala, like the grass just heals me, don't they don't get anything off of that. Yeah, Chen Pao just protects. They're just gonna give me Dragonite here to get a free swap. That makes sense. Uh, I guess I should have swords danced. Uh, maybe they don't have Sacred Sword, maybe they just weren't willing to go for it there. They definitely have Zassian, who's going to cause a problem. I wonder if we take that hit. Probably not next to Chen Pao. They also saw us go for Sucker Punch there. Oh yeah, they would probably Sucker Punch to break the, the Shadow Shield, right? I don't think I have a way through this Zassian anyway. But, I'm going to play to my outs. I'm going to Protect because I think Chen Pao is going to go for a Sucker Punch to avoid my Sucker Punch. And then a follow-up with Behemoth Blade into my Lunala. Since I haven't revealed Protect yet. Lunala sometimes doesn't carry Protect. Uh, and then... It would have to be a Cleave. Let's see if I get this one right. I have to get a lot of calls right. Uh, and even that might not be enough. Yeah, it is Sucker Punch, and it fails, so that was into Lunala. And Behemoth Blade. Okay, I got it right. <laughs> it's about time I get one right. Get him, King Gambit. Chop. Bye, Chen Pao. Alright, and that'll lower their attack a bit. So I might be able to take a Behemoth Blade. Will it be enough to <laughs> beat a Zassian? I don't know. Oh, uh, and here's Urshifu. Water Urshifu, too. Okay, so they just close combat King Gambit and Behemoth Blade. But if they if they have if they're scarfed and they have to lock into close combat, they can't beat Lunala. So what I can do is go for a Moongeist Beam plus Sucker Punch into Zacian and hope that's enough. It won't be. And they're not even going for that. They're just aqua jetting to break the shield. And then there's no way Lunala takes this. GG. Ah! Okay. Uh, what, what could I have done to get around that, though? King Gambit's never going to beat Zacian on its own with only dark moves. So. Uh, I guess I maybe should have brought something else. 
I have Pelipper, who would have been pretty good into these last two. Uh, I guess if they have play rough on Zacian, they can do tons of damage to Pelipper anyway, but Pelipper can at least hit a Zacian. Same with Urshifu. I may have brought the wrong four. I may have brought them in the wrong order. But, yeah, there's no way. You saw how little I did to Zacian there. King Gambit is never going to break through that. GG. I'm out of here. Get that, get that menu off the screen. I don't know why it's stuck there. But do go get a trainer card, please. Alright, Kalias, Oonga Boongus, uh, Rillaboom, Okie Dogi, Pelipper, and Iron Valiant. Yeah, Brute Bonnet's interesting. Uh, how well does Nebby do here? I kind of have to Terra in the face of Calyrex, but I don't if I Wide Guard. Well, actually, I could Nebby Pelipper. They do have a Dark type. Which I can Moonblast, or Hurricane. Snorlax ain't bad. I gotta get rid of their multiple fighting types before Snorlax can do anything, but I think these two can handle some fighting types. And then finally, two Grass types over on their end. Solomon might be good, even though they got all that fighting types, just because of our safety goggles. Like, Rillaboom's okay. Shifu ain't it. It's not Shifu. Question is whether I would prefer to have the goggles or just do some damage with Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom can hit everything. It just depends on which move I have to lock. I think I want to go Solomon. On Terra Fairy. Probably won't use that. That's not the best. Uh, I mean, I can't really touch the fighting types offensively is the problem with King Gambit here. But then Rillaboom, I would have to pick a move and then it can't, the, whatever move I pick... Oh, that's a cool card. Nice Fimbalon. Yeah, whatever move I would pick with Rillaboom, I would be... There's always something I can't hit, so... Alright, they just go with Rillaboom and Calyrex. Alright, let's see the speed interaction between their Rillaboom and our Pelipper. Drizzle comes out first, so we can wide guard before they fake out. Cool. Uh, do I want to set up a Calm Mind in wide guard? No, I want to set up a Tailwind. I can't Tailwind if they fake out Pelipper. So I want to Calm Mind wide guard first. Yeah, I think this is fine for a start. If they have Shadow Ball and they just Grassy Glide Shadow Ball my Lunala, I mean... <laughs> what was I supposed to do? You know? I also think the Wide Guard might be a little obvious, so maybe I could have gone with Protect Tailwind. But they've got priority there anyway. They're gonna Terra their Calyrex for sure. It's Terra Grass. Hurricanes can do some damage. So maybe they want to take out Pelipper. Okay, we get the wide guard. That was going to go first anyway. Grassy Glide into Pelipper for so much damage. And then a Giga Drain. Yikes. That's some damage right there. Uh, but we get our special defense boost with this. Okay. Who can do more damage to that Calyrex? Uh, King Gambit can also take a Grassy Glide, which is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go into King Gambit first. King Gambit, the great. It's a big King Gambit. Alright, let's just protect Nebby and throw a Kowtow Cleave. Get that thing chipped down a bit. Cause it's in very scary mode, but that Grassy Glide did so much, they might be choice, they might be Miracle Seed, I guess. They didn't even go for a fake out. 
They just wanted Pelipper gone. Which is understandable. Your best move is hard to use with Pelipper on the field. But Terra Grass Giga Drain, that's interesting. Who's that for? Other than just healing yourself. Alright, let's see what you got. They're leaving both stuff in. Grassy Glide into Lunala, makes sense. Then what, Astral Barrage? Yeah, fine. King Gambit should take this even at plus one. You're apparently not Life Orb or Choice Specs. That doesn't do too much, even at plus one. Cleave does nothing. Oh my goodness, that was not damage. Uh, we're gonna Terra Fairy... We're gonna double that slot now. Moongeist, and... I guess there's no difference. They're gonna move first anyway. Tau Tau Cleave. But I got a Terra. I could probably take a plus one Astro Barrage with my plus one special defense. Grassy Glide damage will be reduced by our Shadow Shield, so it shouldn't do too much. We'll do some though. Especially if they are Choice Band, as I'm suspecting. That wasn't too bad. Uh, and then they're gonna go straight for a Giga Drain to try to heal up. Uh, but that bounces off us mostly harmlessly. Love that. Yeah, hopefully this combo can take them, or at least put them in Sucker Punch range. Nice, that's gonna take them out. Good job, Ludala. Uh, now did they have an Urshifu? Because I want to protect now, but if they bring in Urshifu, I kinda like can't. <laughs> I want to get Lunala healed back up a little bit by this grass as much as I can. Urshifu would make sense to come in here though, if they have one. I don't remember if they have one. Okie dokie. No, they didn't have Urshifu. Oh good. Okay. Okie dokie's fine. How's this grass going? Two turns of grass, two turns of rain. Let's... Protect Lunala. And also protect King Gambit. Yeah, you got a free swap for your Rillaboom if you want it. But they're not taking it. Great. My question is who they're going to go after with Okie Dogi. Grass is into Lunala, sure. Plus one Moon Guys Beam is going to do a lot to whoever. And they go for a Drain Punch onto our King Gambit. Alright. Last turn of Grass. I could swap Lunala if I wanted, but then I would just lose King Gambit for nothing. Who their last might be... I mean, we gotta take down their fighting type. We've known this from the start. So, Moongeist Beam, Sucker Punch, Double Protect? I think going for a Double Protect is better. I don't think I'm gonna get it, but I don't think Sucker Punch is gonna do anything to an Okie Dogi anyway. And we don't see the speed interaction between Lunala and Okie Dogi yet either. Lunala could be faster. That'd be nice. Uh, they swap the Rillaboom, nice, very nice, <laughs> into the Amoongus. The, uh, not Amoongus, the, uh, Brute Bonnet. King Gambit fails the double protect, sadly. Uh, but Moongeist Beam is faster, that's nice. About half to Okie Dogie. Oh, and they throw a Gung Shot, that's terrible. We lose. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, they landed a gunshot. Lunal is gone. Uh, is this game winnable? No. Probably not. 
Because they can spore. Well, they have to pick the right targets. Snorlax might even be able to take a Drain Punch. Yeah, they have to choose right, but I'm going to throw a High Horsepower at Okie Dogi. They think I can protect with King Gambit this turn, so I won't. Yeah. Uh, no, they do just take out King Gambit. Okay, I can't win that. <laughs> no! Oh man, I'm sorry, Snorlax. It's not your fault. <laughs> Oh, they brought both of their grass types too, so Urshifu wasn't the play. Uh, guess I should have just played better with Pelipper? I don't know. Uh, I go for the one turn wake high horsepower crit. There's always a chance, but this shouldn't pay out. And then, oh, double up with Crunch? That does KO. Okay, GG. Uh, that's some cool Pokemon you're using though. Like I, I respect Okie Dogie and Brute Bonnet, and you got a good trainer card. Love it. All right, we're back. Against the right matchups, Snorlax can really shine. Uh, I don't think we got a lot of those matchups today though. Anyway, I had a lot of fun playing this team. Thank you again, Aquama, uh, and thank you for watching all the way to the end. Don't forget like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, and anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.